Hi, my name's Kerry. I'm one of the physios that works with the Firebirds, um, and I'm really glad to be joined today by Mahalia Cassidy from the Queensland Firebirds, um, and we're going to be talking about some information for return to play after this COVID period. Thanks for joining us, Hals. Thanks for Can having me. Can you tell us what you've been doing to prepare for getting back to um, full training? Yeah, no problem. So we actually haven't fully gone back to full training yet. We have had a period of a few weeks where we're slowly building up into getting back to what we were pre-COVID, which was training every day and doing a lot of court sessions and a lot of gym sessions. And we're still doing a lot of that, but we're having a few more days off in between to allow our bodies to recover um, and also just get used to the load again because we can't just go straight back in. Otherwise, that's probably when injuries and lots of soreness starts to arise. So for the time being, we're still training pretty hard but we're just building up each week. Our load gets bigger each week heading into the season. Perfect. And what do you guys do for practicing landings and all those sorts of things? Yeah. Take off jumping, landing. Yeah, so there's we do a lot of prehab um, and a lot of, we like to call it good to go, but lots of stretching and movements and tendon work and landings and jumping and all of that stuff. We do quite an extended warm up. Um, we, I guess we always have, but I feel like particularly in the moment we have a very long warm up, which is great because by the time we hit the court, we're actually warm and we're ready to jump and pound and hit each other and all that kind of stuff. So um, the prehab stuff's very important. It's not just important to prevent injuries, but it's just important to prevent soreness and little niggles as well. So we try and keep on top of all that, um, which is really important. Perfect. Um, and we've got some of this information that we're putting together for the Netball Queensland website that'll be available on the Return to Play portal. Um, and we're also, stay tuned, we're going to have a follow-up webinar in the next couple of weeks to allow people to do a question and answer session um, for all of these issues for returning to play. Yay!